Hello, my name is Dr. Metha. I'm a board-certified emergency physician, and I will provide some simple instructions regarding your aftercare. We hope that this instructional video proves to be useful, but please remember that this video does not replace the information that your individual physician in the emergency department provided. It is meant to supplement those instructions. If there are any questions or concerns, please contact the facility that treated you or your private physician. We are pleased that you gave us the opportunity to evaluate you for your vaginal infection. A vaginal infection can be described as fungal, bacterial, or viral. They can be further categorized as being sexually transmitted or non-sexually transmitted. Fungal infections include yeast infections and are often treated with antifungal agents, which can be an intravaginal cream or a pill. Bacterial infections are treated with antibiotics and include bacterial vaginosis, chlamydia and gonorrhea, which are sexually transmitted diseases that present with yellowish discharge, and trichomonas, which is a sexually transmitted disease that presents with a frothy green discharge. Viral infections are treated with antiviral medications and include herpes simplex, which presents with painful ulcers. If you are diagnosed with a sexually transmitted disease, make sure your partner is treated or else you will reinfect yourself. If you are prescribed medications for your vaginal infection, take the antibiotics as scheduled and complete the entire course so that the infection will be completely cleared up. Return either to the emergency department or your private physician if you have burning with urination, worsening discharge, developed fever, nausea or vomiting, or have the onset of abdominal or back pain. This may indicate that the prescribed antibiotics are not working and the infection has moved to your ovaries or uterus. Finally, be sure to drink plenty of fluids and avoid intercourse until your medical doctor clears you. Thank you for taking the time to view this video. We hope that you find it helpful. Again, follow your treating physician's instructions as your situation may be unique.